up, everybody? It's Jake Alexander, and welcome to the Tweakle Podcast. So today we have the third and final episode for our discussion about the M She You. I want to thank Mike for stopping by, and I want to thank you all for tuning in and watching. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss out. But until next time, enjoy today's episode, and I will see you in the void. I wonder why I don't know what your viewers thinking. I'm like this. Oh, he hates women's superheroes. That's not at all. It's just I'm mean, all about. Just sticking with parts of the source material and whatever a character is portrayed, I want to follow what the character looks like in the comics. That's just me. That's just how I am, okay? Now, if you want to make different universes and just do your own thing, kind of like they're doing with Spider-Man, which makes tears in my eyes, that's fine. I'm just hoping these next... See, that's what they're doing. That's what all these, these, that's what three, all these movies are. These they are universes. Oh, God, I'm just, here's the thing. I know we're talking about the MCU, but Spider-Man be, is a part of it because Disney wants a minute. These next three films, they better knock it out of the park, man. They I think they'll be knock, fine. I think they better knock it out of the park. I think they will. I think. The, I think. I think the Spider-Man movies will be completely fine. But if you're pulling the Sinister Six, it's really not that freaking hard. It's not that hard to build. It Sinister is that Six. hard. It because is that hard honestly, because that is a lot of villains to put in one movie. It isn't though, because here's the thing. Man. So I'm gonna tell this straight up to your viewers. I don't know if they watched the Spider-Man cartoons back in the 1990s, Fox Kids, Spider-Man with the X-Men. Yes. Batman animated series. Those three cartoons. Were the best, the best of all time, in my opinion. Well, Team Ninja Turtles, that was a good movie. But dude, honestly, the reason why I think Kingpin, great villain. Okay, they can really put Kingpin as the the main villain, generate the Sinister Six. Kind of like the cartoons. It doesn't follow the comics because technically Doc Ock is the one that got the Sinister Six going. Together, right. Okay, but you have the Kingpin do it. Okay, then you could get. But the thing is, but Doc you have Ra- a king, but you have a Kingpin now. And they're, for the and, Daredevil and, show. For the Daredevil show. You can use going, him. And they're, and they're using him. They could use him. But I would like to use him to build that Sinister Six. But then you got Vulture in some damn other universe. You got Doc Ock who's already cured from his uh, chip thing. So you got that issue. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what the hell but happened? You, but, see, but see, that's the thing. It's As soon as they did Venom and they, the one with Tom Hardy, as soon as they did it, I said to myself, y'all are really about to try to roll Venom back into the, into the Sinister Six. I was like, it ain't going to work. Number one, Venom ain't in the Sinister Six. Number two, Venom technically isn't a hero. He waffles back and forth. He's a villain one minute, hero the next. You know, he's, it's all over the place. Yeah, it's all, he's all over the place. Um, he's basically just a, a hungry monster trying to survive in a world where there's where there's basically no food almost, right? Um, and I didn't like, I didn't want them doing the Sinister Six at all because it's too many villains in a movie. Because whatever the Sinister Six movie that they do, there's only going to be one movie. It's not going to be good either. It's, gonna be it's only going to be one movie. When honestly, if you're going to do the Sinister Six, it should be an arc and it should be spread over three movies. But the problem is, if you do that, nobody's going to go see all three movies. Me and you will. Because we're fans. Because we're fans. The sweaty nerds are going to go see it, right? But it ain't going to generate enough money to, 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 um, say, to say to themselves, okay, it's going to generate enough money where it makes sense for us to make them. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. They ain't just doing these just to be doing these. They're trying to make money. This is business. This is business. If you want to make money, it's not that you, hard. You really think they're doing an Ironheart? Disney is doing an Ironheart show if they didn't think it was going to help generate revenue. They did. They they literally tore a part of the Disney park in Florida. Or was it Florida or California? I think it was the one in, in California, actually. They tore part of it apart to build the Avengers compound to have Marvel characters show up and interact with guests. Do you really think they were going to spend all that money without thinking it through first that they can generate more, much more, a lot more? Because we're talking Disney here. Disney ain't talking about we do this. We're talking MCU. Now you want to talk about Disney? Because I'd love to talk about Disney. But but I'm talking about but anything that in the, that's in the MCU is Disney. It's part of who they are. They're thinking everything that they are doing in the MCU is thought through the lens of Disney. Can we make money off of it? And I'm not talking about make five, ten percent on you know after we, after we you know after we pay for it. No, they're talking. If we do this, can I generate 25, 30, 40 percent profit after everything is said and done? No, then we ain't doing it. That's what Disney does. They're projecting. There's no guarantee but, they're going to make this money. But projecting is business. Projecting is business. And I'm telling we you right now, at, they're going to lose money. I'm telling you. We work in the same place. We work in the same place. 
Don't you don't you think the guys who run our company do the exact same thing? Well, yes, you got to project. You got to take okay, risks. You got to take risks. Mean. But I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to help him save money because it's a no. shit risk. No, 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 oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. It, it doesn't matter because regardless of what you think, they are going to make money because this is what they do. Here's the thing. I don't care what they do. It's not. Gonna, I'm, I'm not going to watch their freaking movies anymore. Okay, I've already. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you I are. told because, you this. Yes, you are. I, pro- I promise you. I I'm not prom- seeing the Doctor Strange movie. I, I won't see it. I look, I will I not did, see it. I don't want to see the Ironheart series because it's not a character that I want to see. And I'm not. I don't have nothing against the character. I don't have nothing for the character. So it just was Why I'm, waste your time? Because there are there's because going to Disney's be- got you. So Literally wrapped around their finger, dude. I'm 41. Disney had me around their finger by the time I was three. That ain't nothing new. So the, that, look, the, the Disney owns that. the world. What the? You watch they do YouTube. own the world. That's fine. You, they, watch, you, you watch YouTube? You watch anything on YouTube? I watch Disney YouTube. owns YouTube. They do. Okay, they do. then. So they, then you ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing with Disney ain't got their fingers in it and you put money in their pocket. So, as long as that is the case, if there's no way for me to get around them, then fine. I am going to go with you by 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 the as minimal as I dude, can. I'm going to go with them, but that doesn't mean I have to like everything, dude. I say you do, but I'll tell you right now, man. Being at Disney, so here's the thing, man. When it comes to when it comes to a company owning something, okay, and you realize that that company is say that company's racist. I'm giving you an example. Say that company's racist. Been there. <laughs> Been there. I know. Yeah. Would you want to be represented by that company? Do you want to buy their material? No. No. But the thing about it is, is let's be frank. I wouldn't. I totally understand that. 100%. Let's say they say 100% agree with you. Okay, okay so, no. so look at Disney. Okay? Disney is all about the LGBTQ community, which is great. Good for them. Okay, these people have been sheltered, been shunned their whole lives. Now they're finally able to come out and express their feelings. They can get married now. They can raise families. I think it's fantastic. Okay? Okay, that's what they're trying to do right now. Okay, they haven't done that. That's fine. But guess what? But, that, guess but then what? You, but you look at China. Look what happens in China. They have so much money invested in China. They have locations in China. Okay? You know what China does? They have slaves. Who has slaves? I, and they, you know what? And I understand and that. And we're but talking see, about Disney. We're talking about Disney. Now, let me finish. They're talking about Disney here. So, there you go. They don't say anything about it. Okay? But when it comes to our country. Okay, they know what the hell they're doing. They what they say goes. They know more. They're smarter than everybody. You don't want you want get me, the f out of here, man. You don't want, I hate. I understand things. that. They're pieces of shit. All the money goes through China. You want you you want to stop supporting China? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I have no choice. This is a company phone. Honey. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. You telling me you have no cell phone because all of it comes from China. All of it comes from China. We don't make anything. You we know the United crap. States make nothing. This phone that we record on, this it's all China. It's all from there. China. And Disney is all in bed with China. Because that's where the money comes from. Exactly. I mean, and that's why China has but, literally looked at their films. Okay, I don't want this. Here's the, here's the gay scene. Get it out. Look at they did with Black Panther. I thought that was the most racist thing I've ever seen in my life. One of. I Black Panther? Oh, God. No. What they did with the Black Panther character. You know how he, he had the claws? No mask on? China had made sure his mask was on for their freaking display poster. But they're not the only ones that did that. That's stupid. But the, that's racist. But that's not the only. But that's, that's racist. They're not the only country that do that. I know, but that's 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 the racism. That's where I have a problem with it. But Ra- the problem is, is you're talking to you're attributing that to oh, the Disney's just okay with it. But guess what? Then you can't do no business with no country nowhere. Almost. They don't. I just, Stick to your principles. If you're going to preach that in the United States, then preach it everywhere in the freaking world. But there's the whole point. But, but they, this is business. There but is it's no money. principles in business. They just, but, but there is no principles in business. No, that's all they care about is money. All they, they don't care about how these characters do well or not. They just like, okay, hey, yes, it'll make money. That's all we care yeah. about. We're going to put these TV shows out. They just suck ass. But hey, we're going to make some money. That's where I have a problem with it. But that's the point. That's my problem with it. The characters that you cherish, you love, you watch since you were a child, that you resonated with, and yep. now they're putting on the big screen and absolutely killing these characters. And it, it's like literally, you know what? An average Joe, like, I don't give a shit. Right? I'm just going to do what I do and drink a beer and have a pizza and, and watch a football the, and, game. And, they don't give a shit. But people like you and I, who do care about these characters, getting shot to hell by the big screens, yeah. And, and here's the nail in the coffin. Screw to that. And here's the nail in the coffin to your Fine. entire argument. Whose fault is that? It's your fault because you're no, watching no, no, it. Stop! 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 I think, stop. I'm, blaming, no, no, no. I'm blaming the consumer. Go back to the genesis of all of this. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is it that Disney owns Marvel? Disney? No. 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 Whose fault is it that Disney owns Marvel? It's yours. It's mine. It's every single person that don't buy comic books. Oh yeah, that's right. Because, that, let's, yeah, yeah, because yeah, come point, on, because let's be for real. Yeah, let's be for real. Yeah, let's be for real. Like you said, Spider-Man was the first one. 
that where they did where it's like, oh, great comic book movie. You do, do comic book movie. No, it's actually Blade. It was Blade. Because let's be for real, when they did Batman in 1989, they had something going. They had something going. Mike Keaton has. They had something going. Even 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 though part two, even I will I will totally admit 100. Yeah, percent part Marvel, two part two yeah. wasn't as good as one, yeah. but it was still fun. It was a good movie. Then what did they do? What did they do? They bowed to the censors. The comic book folks bowed to the censors. It was like if y'all go do comic book movies, it can't be as dark. So they got rid of Tim Burton. Oh, that stuff pissed me out. Well, because the kids were on the news. You know, the kids were all like, "Yeah, it was too dark. It was too dark. It was too dark." So they but, had to make it all kid like. But see here, but see here's the thing. Now, now that part you got blame. You, you got to blame on the last generation. We were kids when that happened. We didn't make those decisions. You're 100 right because I do remember watching an interview. Some kid was like, "Yeah, it was too dark for me. It was scary." I did it. Give me a break, Our parents man. made the decisions for that. We didn't do that. As much as they want to try to blame millennials for being soft and oh, oh y'all, I, y'all got y'all got participation trophies. We weren't the ones that made them up. Y'all gave them to us. Mm-hmm. We weren't about to turn it down. So, but what I was trying to say is, comic book readers are, have always been few and far in between. And when they revolted and said, "We just aren't buying comic books because we don't want to buy comic books anymore," not for anything other than they just didn't want to buy comic yeah, books. Marvel anymore. Go, and Marvel was going broke. Marvel was going broke. They were. Close from going completely out of business. Then they did Blade. Then they had to sell off characters to Sony and to Fox and to everybody else to make money. That be to make money in order to keep it open. Because if they ain't making any money, they can't pay the artists, they can't pay the writers, they can't pay the printers. That's where it all begins. If everybody's all pissed off, if you're so mad at everybody, at the way Disney is doing Marvel and the way the X Men movies turned out, not all of them. The first one was good. Everything else was like. Eh. Until they got to uh, first class. And then I thought they were kind of redeeming themselves. But still, the way all this turned out, it begins with comic book readers. If they are buying comic books, if the company is generating enough revenue, I don't have to sell my characters off to y'all. I don't need y'all. I'll go find somebody that will do the movies the way I want to that's in a comic book. But that ain't what happened. No. That ain't what happened. It's sad. It makes me actually... It's actually sad. It really is. Because if, if anything... If it, I'm going to wrap regret saying this. I'm glad Sony didn't buy Marvel. I'm so glad that Sony didn't buy Marvel. Sony was never going to buy Marvel. Sony, okay. was, Sony was never going to completely buy Marvel. Okay. They literally went in and said, which character, one character, and everything and they chose connected the right to one. him, they chose the can right we one. just take that one and roll with? And the guy, I forgot his name, but he's actually from the United States, and he went to work for Sony in Japan and was like, y'all better take Spider-Man. And they was like, well, what about X-Men? Because they were going after X-Men. They were first. going after X-Men. Yeah. And he said, no. Take Spider-Man, take everything connected to him, and just roll with it. We will be fine. They only got movie rights. Yeah, that's, that's all fine. they got. But that's fine. That's all you need. It. I don't need. I don't need the comic book rights. I don't need the comic book rights. All I need is movie rights and merchandise rights. Everything else you can keep. Yeah, you can keep all that. Yeah, I don't keep. I don't. I don't, I don't need none of that. I don't, I don't need you to paint my car and none of that or making plush dolls. I just need to make a few action figures, maybe some posters, and do the movies. Yeah. Everything else you can keep. You can keep. We'll see. That's what that was the genesis of all this. Marvel going out of business. DC, DC, they weren't as close to going out of business, but they were hurting. They're hurting now. DC's cleaning house. But they have to clean house. Because their characters don't resonate with nobody. No. Keyword resonates. But see, I, I, I never but see, I never yes, but see, but see, here's indeed. the thing. I never said that your idea your 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 assertion that hey, these characters don't resonate with, with me, so I don't want to see it. I never said you were wrong. I was actually agreeing with you. The same thing I say with Ironheart. Ironheart don't resonate with me. I don't want to see it. But my daughter wants to see it. Okay. You're in the business of making money. Right? They're in- I don't have to go buy the Ironheart yeah. comics. But I have nieces. I have a daughter. I have a friends. I have female friends who might want to read it. Yeah. Probably. I don't, I'm not against it. Please, by all means, please have these characters. And I, I, I attribute that, that exact same thought process to the movies. I understand that every single movie ain't gonna fall directly in my wheelhouse. Fine. They don't fall directly in my wheelhouse. Every single movie that they do it's don't hard fall to do. directly in it's my wheelhouse. It's hard house. to do. It's hard to do fall anywhere else because obviously we have our high expectations on how these movies are gonna be portrayed. So, you're right. You're right. I, I agree with you on that. I mean, it's not gonna fall directly into your wheelhouse, no. Because it, there's gonna be some scenes you're like, what the hell is this? I get it. And I mean, because like for example, you you didn't like the scene, you didn't like the the scene at the end of Endgame, where she's got no help. one did. I did. I loved it. You loved having all twenty women going. She's got help, and they you just know why I lo- you want to know I loved it. Why? Because that's a real team in the comics. That's the A Force, and I know that they're real, and I understood. So going, in a big battle scene, they all like 
So gather up, guys. Because so gather up. Because let's be for real. The end game as a totality. What was the movie for? The movie was not about just being a movie or being a good movie, comic book movie, otherwise than us. And the Russo brothers pulled it off what I thought they couldn't pull off. They literally gave you three hours of inside jokes and payoffs. All the stuff that you had seen, all these these little inside gags from comic books, and he was like, I don't, I don't get that, paid off in Endgame. All these little things that they talked about before came to fruition in Endgame. Right? Tony had talked about it earlier that, hey, maybe, you know, when uh, Pepper was looking at the Susie, he's like, hey, maybe I'll make you one. Then what happened? You get to Endgame, here's Tony up in the sky firing, and there's Pepper right behind him, back to back, with the, with the man she loves in her rescue suit, and they go into town. That was a payoff from something he said five or six movies before. That's all Endgame was for. Endgame was not meant to just be a movie and, you know, you you wrap up the Avengers and then start off with a new team. It was to pay off all the things that they had said in the other movies. Tony said the whole point of this is for us to not have to fight anymore, for us to go home, for us to finally rest. Yes. And then you get to you get to Endgame and then Pepper even said it. She was like, his problem is he he won't let go. Right. He wants to rest, but he just he has no figure out. He has no way to how to. He doesn't know how to let go. He's always worried about something. Just, and then what happens at the end of the movie? What's the last thing she says to him before he passes away? We're good. We're good. We're you good can rest now. We'll be okay. Yeah. That's a payoff. It's a payoff. That's We're the naked. that was the point of that it, was. You you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see an A Force movie. You're not. Hey, gonna, you, there's a slide. Another one gets you. It might be a hey, give, give a chance. You might see a six episode canceled TV show. If it's, if it's only six episodes, then that's fine. Yeah, it's gonna get canceled after that. No. What's wrong with it getting canceled after after the six episodes? That's all you need. None of none of the Disney Plus shows need a second season. I will say that on the record. You know, none of Disney, them need a second season. Disney they don't. Plus, yeah, I'll tell you right none now, of, man. Not a single one of them. Not a single one. Do you know what they're doing with the X Men cartoon right now? Yeah, they're picking up where they left off. No, they're not. Yeah. No, they're not. It's not a continuation. They're making more of it, that cartoon, but they're going to focus it on today's society, today's world. Why? Just stick. Because that's what X-Men was. No, it wasn't. Just, if you do a Stan Lee, the man himself, the man who made the said point blank, the po- the he based X-Men on, on, the, on how society looks at minorities. That's what it was for. That's what the X-Men are. Mutants. People who are, they look just like you. They, they look just like you. Do exactly the same thing you do. But they're just a little different. And you fear them for it. And they're cast out. And they're, and they're treated differently. They're treated badly. That was the point of the X-Men. That was the whole point of the series. And that's... I'm not even talking about the cartoon. That was the point of the comic book series. Yes. They're translating it into the comics. You don't need to From make the it, comics I, into the show. I don't think you need to make input in today's world, today's issues. You don't need to do that. Yes, you do. I don't think so. Yes, you do. I don't think so. You do. Because because, uh, because everything we know from everything we know from X-Men, the people who are really, really gonna be into it, everything is still mired in the eighties. This ain't the eighties anymore. But who cares? I, I, a lot of people care. For what reason? Because you've had greater stories than what has happened in the 80s since then. Jaquan, I'm telling you right now, the movies aren't really that good anymore. Back in the day, the movies were good. There was storytelling. There was development of characters. There was creativity. These movies now suck. I'd rather prefer to watch a movie or reflect back in the older times because that's when times were good. Dude, they literally just did two movies mired in the 80s in X-Men. And y'all didn't watch them. Are you talking about the uh, first class? Yes. First class was good. Yes, but Days of Future Past was good. No. Yeah, it was. Man. The third one sucked. Man, Days of Future Past really wasn't that great. Yeah, I thought it was, so. Eh. I thought it was good. The, the third one, where they're trying to do the whole Phoenix, that was trash. Was he, uh, that was bad. That's not that, that, that's, that's beyond. That's beyond. Bad. That, X Men movies are hard to make, and I'll tell you why. I don't think they're hard to make. There's so many characters. And I'll tell you, I'm, why you're you making a you're making a movie about a you're, team. you're making a movie about a team of people that have to band together to stop a bad guy, it's dude. Tough. That that sounds like a bank heist movie. It's it ain't tough. that odd. It's it's tough to do. It's tough because you know what, man. I think Hugh Jackman's probably the best Wolverine that you'll you'll find. I don't think anybody's good. Stop him. And you know, and you know, most people will disagree with you. That's crazy. They will say his acting is good, but they still don't want Hugh Jackman as, as Wolverine. That, that baffles me because he's too tall. Wolverine's a short guy. That's right. He's like five eight. Or five cents, that's a guess. He's, he's five four. Yeah, he's short. He's short. But let's be for real. If you get a five four guy and put him in that yellow spandex suit and put him in a the movie, they will laugh. People will laugh themselves silly right out of the theater. Ain't nobody going to see that. Nobody's going to go see that. 
Nobody wants to see a five foot four guy. And I'm not talking about short guys because I ain't, I'm not I'm not playing basketball no time soon in the NBA. Um, nobody's going to see a five foot four guy in yellow spandex. Nobody's going to go see that. Which is why they had you put him in the maroon costume. No, nah, no, nobody costume. wants to see him in no no spandex except black or maybe maybe the brown. Yeah, just, the je- brown je- might just work. jeans and a white beater. Yeah, well, that enough. Well, the brown. Well, actually, the brown one might work because he had a brown one that was brown and had a little bit of black and yellow in it. That might work. That one might work. It would have been, been cool to see him kind of put a mask on. I'm not gonna lie, it'd be kind of pretty dope. No, I don't want to. I don't want to see that mask. I don't want to see that mask in the movie. I don't. I don't. Wolverine has probably I would say the third dumbest mask in all the comic book heroes. I had to come on, just giant wings like this come off the top of your head. I get it. I understand that was the era that made that made it pop on the page, and that's what it's for. In a movie, don't do that. Don't do that. Not the mask. Not don't do that. Not the mask. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Hey, you know what, man? No, I'm, 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 here's the thing, man. I, I'm, see, I like. See, you're gonna be surprised, Mike. It's my characters, man. I'm, I'm, Wolverine's top notch, but don't be wrong, man. I'm a Nightcrawler, Colossus, and Storm person. I think Storm's. Probably, if I told you my top, she's probably my favorite superhero and woman carries Storm. We Nightcrawl's agree. Awesome. We agree on one. And if I told you my other two out of the top three, you'd be like, really? I want to know. Okay, it's uh, not in order, but I agree with you, Nightcrawler. Damn good character. I love Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is such a fun character. Gambit. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with Gambit. You can't go wrong with Gambit. Dude, not, they they want to make a movie about it. I'm just on yeah, right? Yeah, they are. They're, I don't think they're. I don't think they're gonna pull the trigger on the movie. They've been talking about it way too long. If they were gonna do it, they're. Randy LeBeau, it. man. Yeah. Who's the other one? It's technically not an X Men, but he's in X Men universe. Omega Red. The mad, the mad Russian serial killer. He's in the X Men universe. Yeah, he said. Yeah, that. yeah, but he's not in the X Men. He's not the part the, of the. X-Men he's the Russian team. villain, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I don't know why I fell in love with that character. I thought Omega he was Red's so, badass. So damn good. <laughs> oh, I forgot but what um, so yeah. yeah, so I mean, but I mean, the the way I see it, as far as the MCU goes, totally, they aren't making these movies just to be making them. I, I get it. If you're telling me that oh they got an agenda to push characters that are LGBTQ plus. Got it out for you. Yeah, it's, I don't know why I can't say it. It's, just, it's, just like, it's, it's a tongue twister. It's a it is for sure. Uh, or, if they, or if you're saying they're pushing minority characters, they're pushing women characters. Yeah, they are. Because you want to know why? For the longest time, all you had was white males or white females. But now the world has changed, where now all these people are, all these other folks are in the comic books. They always were, but now it's really a thing about comic books being inclusive because so many different types of people are. Juan, I, you're, you're it's missing, just like it's just you're like missing, you're tomorrow. missing what I was saying. I never said there's no, 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 anything no, no, no. wrong with that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it neither. I'm not saying there's neither. What I'm saying to you is that's not woke. That ain't woke. That's just business. That's just saying. Hey, well, I, I, I told you it wasn't woke. I, I told you it wasn't woke. I, the woke part was having female cl- female characters play actual male characters that were de- male characters in the comics. Okay, that part is. So, so, who, so what female character is playing a male character? We just talked about Doctor Strange. An ancient one? What Doctor Strange? What female character is playing Doctor Strange? Taskmaster. Do you know? And that pit. was... Oh, no. That part... Now, look. It, it, as far as the female playing it, I get why they did it. Understand me here. I get why they did it. Because she was supposed to be one of the Black Widows and the guy's daughter. Just that. I get why they did it. I didn't agree with it. I didn't like it. Okay, then just say that then. That's no, all no, you no, no, no. Say. I don't. I that's didn't woke. Like it. That's, that's stupid. That's not woke. That's not woke. No, okay. no. That's trying to. That, you know what that is? I'll tell you exactly what it is. That's not woke. It's that's MCU. Doing that's the MCU. No, that's doing too much. MCU. That's trying. That's trying too hard to tie something in. That's too hard. That, that, that's what this. That's what Marvel's doing. They're gonna lit every movie that you are going to be watching. That's not gonna resonate. They're gonna jab stuff down your throat. You're like, uh, it's not gonna settle well. But you're gonna see it because you just said it. You have cousins. You have nieces. You have daughters. They're gonna want to watch this. So you know what? You're gonna. There might be a couple yeah, scenes. But see, if they go see it and like it, that's fine. If that's I fine. Go see it and if and I don't like it, that's because fine. that's what you mentioned. It's all about making. But that's what it money. Money. It's, all, it's all about making money. But that's what. And money that's is. what they're doing. And that's fine. If Disney just wants to do that and destroy these characters for what they are, just because they want to make some dollars and cents. Fine, but, but they're not going to get my money. But, the thing, but the thing about it is, is, it isn't woke because they're using characters from the comic books. Now, outside of them two, those are the only two that they really, really screwed up. If they're using the characters from the comic books instead of using the the main ones that everybody knows, quote unquote, that's fine. Jaquan, last thing we'll mention about the MCU is that you would never mention. Okay, unfortunately, we are living in a generation, you and I, which I can't stand. I hate my generation. I'll say it flat out, it has gone. So political. When all these movies were just supposed to be entertainment. 
It's all it's supposed to was to want to go and take your kids to a movie, get some slurries, get some popcorn, watch a film, but be entertained. And they're political. literally changing politics. I don't want to have politics involved in my life 24-7. I want to get away from that. I but can't, get, I can't get away from it now. Everywhere I go, it's political. But see, Everywhere I go. But the thing about it is, and you, you have to acknowledge, comic books have always just been a mirror of society. If things are really political now, that's where we have to go with the movies. Comic books comic were books. not political yes, in the 90s. They were not. Yes, they were. And, and you didn't read enough X-Men. I read not... Well, I didn't read all the volumes of X-Men. I read the first volume. That's that, that, But that's the point. That's the point. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you only read a certain thing, I or, read others. No, I read other volumes of Spider Man, and yes, parts of that what you're saying are true. And but I, that's I, the I didn't, point. I didn't, and that's I didn't like it. At. Just like that, you know, Sanama Anama is that woman that made the Miss uh, Ms. Marvel is the girl that stretches her arms, kind of like uh, Fantastic uh, Mr. Fantastic that they're making a show on. Yeah. Yeah. So she was involved in the like the I can't remember what volume was in Spider Man comics she was involved in. Now she had, I think what, I forgot what issue it was. I think it was volume one. It was like in like eight hundreds or something like that. Yeah. Obama was uh, in the cover. So I remember just hanging on one of his you know webs. Why the hell would you put our uh, the current president, not the not current one, but back then the current president on a freaking comic book? He ain't the first comic. He ain't the first person president to be in the comic book. Why do that in the beginning? Why do that at all? Because that's because it reflects. Society, that's the point. I, Comic books have always done that. Yeah, that is not a new thing. It's not a new thing. They shouldn't be doing that. They no, shouldn't reflect Hell, Batman is political if you think about it. I what? didn't read the comics. I don't know. I, did. I told you I felt Spider-Man. Most of these, most, most, I'm not going to say every single one, but the vast majority of comic books, they mirror society. So whatever political thing comes up, it shows up in the comic books at some point or another. That's too bad. Hey, that's too bad. Hell, Superman was talking about Vietnam at one point. Did you, uh, did, you know what? I don't want to get, you know, we'll, we'll, not work, we'll talk about DC in the later time. That's fine. Okay, so if you're making a comment that you're that comic books are a reflection of, you know, society today. Yeah. Maybe so, but I, that's, I think that's a poor way of the direction of what your, your product is. I think that's poor. I think you should just create your own society. Create no, a because, fantasy. No, because, don't think because even as comic books, you have to go where the audience goes. If your audience shifts one way, you have to shift that way. Marvel has learned that already. They didn't shift, and people stopped buying comic books. And they almost went out of business. They almost shut the doors completely. They have learned, guess what? We have to change with the times as they change. If we don't, we die. That is the nature of business. Whether or not you believe in the characters and you love the characters, and I'm not saying you don't love the character, because Mike, I know you. I know you love the character. I know you miss the Spider Man all day. I, I I promise you, I promise everybody that's watching, if I saw you on the street wearing a wearing a Spider Man suit and somebody was like, Look at this crazy dude, I look over and see what you I was like, I ain't crazy, that's just Mike. 100 percent Just like I, I would hope you know if you saw me, if you if I come to work and I got on the Green Lantern and I was if you you should be like, Yeah, that's normal. That's him. That's, that's normal. normal. That's normal. That, that, I understand you love the characters, but the thing about it is, is there are more people who love other characters. So the business has to shift toward them because that's where the majority of the money is. And Marvel, at the end of the day, Marvel is a business. Marvel is a business because you love Stan Lee. You love all these people that did all, all did all these all these characters. I do. Stan Lee was awesome. Love me some Stan Lee, right? I'm, I'm, I'm and side side note to Stan Lee, I really hope they are going to use Deadpool as the as the Stan Lee. Guy, because one of the one of the theories, and they, they talked about it, Kevin Feige talked about it, is they would have um, Deadpool consistently looking for the Stanley character as the movies go on. So I hope they do that. That would honor Stanley. I think that's pretty cool. Explain why Kevin Feige is even involved. He didn't read a single comic book. He 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 even said, so, "Yeah, I had their pajamas. I had their action figures." Why in the hell is he even running the so franchise? Most John Favreau didn't read none either. And me and you will agree, John Favreau did the perfect John job. John Favreau was a huge Iron Man fan growing I, up. He was an Iron Man fan, but he didn't read all the comic books. He was a fan of the character. He read the comic books. He, he didn't read all of, of them. He was a fan of that one character. And that's why he made that movie. And, and, that's, and it was good. And guess what? And that's fine. Everybody doesn't read comic books. We are a niche audience. As much as we want to believe that, hey, nerds run the world and folks that read comic books. It just books, pisses me off. The people out, see these movies, out, they don't know. Don't. They, I, I just get pissed, man. I don't know why it bothers me. And I'll be honest, it's immature. I don't care. These people who go see these movies, they don't know dick about this character. They just want to see, oh, cool action scene, super. They don't know what 
the hell about this character? They don't know the origin. They don't know the stories. And that's good. But that's good. Ah, that's good. I hate that. that that's good. I, I hate I, it. I, that's good. I'll give you a perfect example of why. We'll go to Green Lantern again. I know it's not MCU, but we're going to go Green Lantern because, yeah, you, because this you is You love DC, man. No, I don't love DC. You love I just DC. love Green Lantern. That's DC. You like Batman too, right? I like Batman. Okay, you like Aquaman? Mm, not really. That movie was bad. Even though I do, I got Aquaman shoes. <laughs> I'm not a big... I'm still not a big Aquaman. Because oh, you were a hypocrite. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite. I like, I like the shoes. The shoes look dope. They're Chuck Taylors. I mean, I like Chuck Taylors anyway. Okay, Green Lantern. Um, um, most people have, don't know nothing about Green Lantern, right? Movie comes out, movie flops. Even people that went and saw it was like, God, this movie was horrible. And then I started explaining to people, this movie is nothing like the comic. This movie, I was like, dude, I was like, really? I was like, go read the comic and, and figure out why Green Lantern, Hal Jordan and John Stewart and Kyle Rayner and Guy Gardner, go read why all these all these guys become Green Lanterns and they're protecting the Earth. They're basically this, you know, the space police force and the Green Lantern Corps. And I'm telling them all this, and they was like, that was not like nothing like the movie. I was like, dude, go read it. I'm like, go read it. I'm like, please just, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I promise you, if you read 10 issues, I was like, I'll buy you five. Like, if you read 10 issues and you tell me you don't like it, hey, I, I, I was like, but I like, give the character in comics a chance because the movie was so bad. I don't know how many people I've turned on the Green Lantern and other comic book characters because they saw the movies. Even if they liked it a little bit, I was like, okay, if you liked it, read this though. And that's, kind of what they're doing with the movies. Whether you like the character or not, they're drumming up interest to go read the comics. They have to do this. Because remember, this at the end of the day, this is still nothing but business. This is still nothing but business. They have to make money. They have to the make artists money. have to have to get paid. They have to make money, but the thing is, I'm telling you right now, man, the, the more you continue this direction, okay, it's making you money now, but it will backfire. I don't think it will it's gonna backfire. Will there come a day when the MCU can no longer make money off a movie and they'll stop making movies and it'll just be Marvel Comics? Yes. But I don't think that's because of the direction they're going because movies are cyclical. Just like I said before with cowboy movies and Western. You can't buy it. You, you, can't, you, you can't see a Western in a, in a theater unless, unless you... <laughs> let me look at rom-com. You don't see too many of them no more. I get it. You, you don't see were... too many Westerns. You don't I'm see... I'm just telling them. you, man. I'm just telling you, this it just this reflects back what I'm trying to say is Endgame was the most money they're going to make. That was the peak. If they are going to make money, I'm not saying they're not going to make money, but they will never make to that point of where Endgame ended. They I will think not. they will. I don't know what movie it will. I think they will. Spider-Man, maybe. If they got good, if, it, if that's the only it's still shot. Theirs. It's still theirs. It doesn't matter. It's Sony's, not Disney's. Not Disney's. Disney only gets 25% cut on those movies. But it's 25% of something that they really ain't got to do but direct. They're not directing, they're producing. No, 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 that's fine. If you're talking about, I'm doing this movie and I'm putting in 15% of the work, but I'm getting back 25% of the money. That's a win. I get the reason why I keep mentioning Spider Man is because that is literally their cash cow. Okay, I'm just telling you right now, that is their cash cow. That's gonna be Disney's cash cow now because they will not make money on these new movies that they're making. If you think Doctor Strange is gonna be making all this money, which I don't think so, then maybe they have something going on, but I don't think they have it. The only thing, the reason why I think people are so excited to see it is because all these damn cameo appearances, they want to see what direction they're going. What's, the with, why they, what's wrong with cameos? There's nothing wrong with cameo appearances. I think there's going to be way too many, and it's going to confuse the audience. That's my opinion. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, don't think so. I mean, now you got everybody, everybody, you got, everybody you got X-Men characters showing up in this thing now? Everybody so. thought, everybody thought, the first Doctor Strange was going to confuse everybody. And I was like, no, nah, like, nah, I won't. I thought no, it was good. And, but everybody thought it was going to confuse everybody because Doctor oh. Because Doctor Strange is a magical character, and you have all this magic and all this stuff and all this uh, reality bending, you know, special effects, and they thought people were gonna get confused. I don't know why people thought that. And then you keep thinking people. I don't think people are gonna be confused about this movie. I think it's gonna be just fine. So wait a minute. So how much is our bet now? Because we got a bet going. So how much is our bet now? I'm gonna say six hundred million. It doesn't break six hundred million. You think six hundred million is is the, is the number? Okay, I can go with that. I can go with that. I think it breaks six hundred million. Because I think it's honestly gonna flop. No. So what's flop to you? Flopping's barely breaking even. So what? They spent what two fifty to make it? I think they spent two hundred. So I think they'll make two four. I don't think they make five at most. Yeah, but if you're talking about breaking even, it's flopping. They'll make more than what they what they made on it. I don't think what they spent on. They have they have their agenda. They have their 
speculation that they're going to make this much money. I yeah. think they're going to think they're going to make a billion dollars in this movie. No, no, no. They are not, they are not, they are not out there thinking they're going to make a billion dollars in every movie. I think it's going to be a disappointment. I think the critics, I think it's going to be, I don't like, I don't like, I, so I don't like talking about Rotten Tomatoes. I, I, think, I think the user reviews are going to be like 45, 50%. I don't, I don't listen to Rotten Tomatoes. I don't listen to critics. I don't listen to Metacritic. I don't listen to that. that. You should only listen to yourself because here's the thing: your with your knowledge, you know these characters. So if it res- if it, not, if it portrays the it's way not you want, with my, it's perfect. It's not even with my knowledge. It's I'm trying to remember. It was the the MC movie that they talked about before, and Ryan Tomatoes was like, "Oh, this movie's horrible. This movie's trash. Can't do it. Can't watch it." It's like uh, you watch it, but you're gonna be highly disappointed. Everybody gonna see this movie, and it's like, "Have you lost your damn mind? This movie's great." Which one? I can't. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Uncharted. Because that was not good. Not one Uncharted. Morbius definitely not good. No, no, this is Venom two. This, this is this, this is time before. This ain't this, this is. I mean, I think this is before Endgame. I want to say this is before Endgame. Oh, it's before Endgame. Yeah, this is before Captain that. Marvel trash. I don't think it was trash. I think it was. I think it was just ill conceived. They just they they were taking the storyline. They they got the idea right, but they spun it the wrong way. That's what I think. Sure. It, it, it was. I, I don't think it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. It ain't one of their best, but it, I, it, it ain't the worst either. The, the first it was before Endgame it was. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Which character? I, I, I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say it was Thor. Ragnarok? No, the second one. Dark World? Yeah. And, I actually like Dark World. I don't and know why I did like, too. I don't know why people like it. Most pe- and most people liked it. It was darker, and that's why I liked it so much. And most people liked it, but everybody, but most of the critics were like, movie's no good. Movie's no good. And I was, was like, fine. I got all of your mind. Like, I don't listen to critics because there are movies that have come out left well, and right. The critics don't know shit about these characters, dude. None. They, don't, they and, don't know dick. So and that's, that's, and that's why I don't pay no attention. Yeah, uh, they, I, don't, I don't care about Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic. I said, I, 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 said I, user re- I said user reviews. I think the, I think the user, user reviews will be fine. The user reviews are going to be just fine. I think they're going to be... They, I think the user reviews will be equivalent to uh, the first Doctor Strange. The only reason why it might be equivalent to the first Doctor Strange is because they can't have appearances. That's the only reason. Everything else is going to suck. That's called gambling fun. And if, and if, you, win, and if you win and doing it, yeah. yeah. Let's throw a cameo appearance to help our, our generate more revenue. A little, a little 30 second clip. Get there, people but, thinking. But there's there's nothing wrong with cameo I never appearance. said there Especially was, but don't let it. I think that's. I literally think I, that I is going to be their savior for the film. No, I think, I think all the cameo appearances are going to happen within a 30 minute window of the movie. And then it's going to shift back to the main characters, which is going to be. Doctor Strange, wherever Chavez, and Wong, and then um, Christine, because Christine is their 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 yeah they got yeah they got so. uh, Rachel McAdams yeah, yeah yeah and yeah, I think it's going to shift back to them. She's getting forward. married That's to some other dude. Yeah, yeah yeah because he's because he's seeing what uh like what would have happened if you know had the crash never happened he was still a doctor you know he has all he's having these all these dreams it's it ties into what if everything that happened in what if and. That was a damn good series. I honestly series. don't think it's a good. I honestly, man, Doctor Strange, you don't need to jam this multiverse bullshit crap, dude. They can really focus on Dormammu, which they kind of did a little bit in the beginning. Which I think they can. Shoot. Dormammu can really start getting into our universe again. I like Dormammu, and I think, but I, I honestly think that you're having Dormammu and Cthulhu use Scarlet Witch because remember, you see two different Scarlet Witches, right? One is literally kneeling, and the other one is standing in front of her with a t-shirt covered in what looks like blood, but I don't think. Um, I think Cthulhu is Dormammu, and Cthulhu is the one that created the dark hole in the comic books, right? Mm-hmm. And Scarlet Witch in the movie has the has the dark hole. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one or maybe both of them are controlling a different version of Scarlet Witch to try to get into our universe this go round, and that's fine because that's what they do in comics. That's they've done that before. This is right out of comic. This is a storyline right out of comic. And I think that's I think they're using her to try to get into this universe. That's not actually the Scarlet Witch, the one that looks like it's covered in blood. But I think it's going to be not actual blood because then the, the movie would have to be R rated, and you can't do that. Um, that. The movie can't be R rated. You can't get kids to go. It can't get a, a wider audience to go see. Sure. Um, I, th- I don't think it's going to be blood. I think it's going to be like oil off one of the um, one of the Ultron bots. Right. Um, I but, think it's. Yeah, I, I literally think it's going to be just like Eternals. No, no, I don't think it's gonna be like Eternals because Eternals, is, Eternals is another one of those characters that let's be for real. Even most comic book readers didn't read nothing from the Eternals. No, it's just gonna be a trash movie. And no, I, no, no. Okay. It, even if it's tra- even if it's if it's tra- Eternals did what six hundred million dollars almost. It was like five something. So you <laughs> you're basically telling me I'm right. I'll, I'll take it. That's exactly what I think Doctor Strange is gonna be. I think I don't think it's gonna break six hundred million. I no, think it's gonna be going under. I think it'll, I think it'll break. I think it'll break six hundred. 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, if they're you, already, they're already pulling out scenes in other countries because it's not allowed. So, so they do that. They many many they've been doing that many, for, many times. And, and guess what? And they still but make, they still make a ton of money. They still make a ton of money. But I'll tell you right now, man. I'm just saying from the very beginning of this podcast, it's literally going to be going like this. Doctor, Str- so here's the thing. Here's the end. Here's the end game. Doctor Strange is going to probably be like this, and then you have all the other movies. Flop. I'm telling you, man, it's going to happen. So. I don't think it's so. going to happen. And here's the thing. You know what they're going to have to rely on? They're going to like Sony save us because the Spider Man is going to help the revenue just a little bit, depending nope. on these next three movies. I don't think so. I don't think. I don't. I, I don't think Sony is. I don't think Sony is going to be that good. The Spider Man movies. As much as I want them to be, uh, we'll see. Because I they, really do want. I really craving the hundred Madam Web flop. We're in deep sh- crap. We're I don't know. I don't know about Madam Web because I don't. I don't know how. I don't know what they're. I don't know what the story behind Madam Web is. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. Well, so. No. Yeah, I mean, you can. But well, because no. if you look at it, because that's. I mean, oh, no way home. Technically, did, Miles Morales is already in. You're in right. Their universe. And he's. A, I love Miles Morales. I think he's a great character. Okay, I think he should have been portrayed way earlier than when he, when he was first created. I thought he should have came out a lot sooner. We, I think we did talk about that, but if we didn't, I, I'm agree with you. He should have came out earlier. But uh, point I'm trying to make here is different universes. That's from Madam Web. I mean, well, yeah. But see, I mean, for a person who, does, who doesn't want to see a multiverse, that's what Madam Web is. It's exactly it's it. a multiverse character. It's a multiverse character. So, I mean, you're going to have a ton of Spider-Man, though. So you're going to have Ben Riley, the clone of Spider-Man. Which I thought was a pretty dope one. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I like that series. Even though it was very short in the comics, because a lot of people didn't really like. Well, I don't want to see another Spider-Man because Ben Riley being a clone. I don't know exactly how they're going to do that. But you got the Iron Spider-Man, then you got obviously just Spider-Man and Spider-Man. You got Miles Morales, then you're going to have a Stone Spider-Man, Sp- um, Spider- Spider-Gwen. 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 There's a lot they're going to do with that. Do I think it's going to be good? Or not. But it, now you know Sony. They, now you know they split that into two movies. That's right. Yeah. So, also so it's not gonna, called Into the Spider-Verse Part 2 anymore. It's called Across the Spider-Verse. Yep. And now it's Part 1 and Part 2 for that. After how they've portrayed Morbius and how they made it, I think, I, I really have no idea how good these movies are going to be. Am I going to see them? Yes. I have to. Because there's, it's Spider-Man. Because I just it's one of those things you're forced to seeing it, even if it might suck. And I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that they don't. Because Craven the Hunter, I, I like Aaron Taylor Johnson. I like the character. I like he's a good actor. Um, I think he'd be a good Craven the Hunter. I think that movie's... I hope the movie's gonna be good, but I know we're talking about the MCU and we're more on the Sony era. But I'm just, I'm just telling you right now. I, even though it's they own the property, I still, yeah, I still see it. As I, uh, both are gonna spill over into each other. I'm yeah. gonna say this on record: I want these characters to succeed. If they resonate with you, I'm happy. I really am. But it's not something that it can resonate with me. I've literally wrote them off ever since. Uh, I saw the uh, honestly with the uh, adventures that came is when I started writing them off. It's because I just hated that scene so much. And then, and then clearly you want to make your own opinions. And then you're gonna listen to podcasts and get people's opinions. And then you start listening to the facts and you just read articles that you never got to see. I didn't even know that Kevin Feige was trying to, was going through you know going through this narrative. Or, I had no idea that was his agenda. But as I more see, I'm like, man, I don't know if I like this too much. And then I watch one of the Hawkeye episodes. I'm like, what is this crap? Okay, what, what, what? I thought it was just going to be Hawkeye being a badass. Why does he have this little sidekick? What, what are you, what are but you that's doing? not in the comic. I don't like the character, though. Like, what's but, the point? But that's the point. If you don't like the character from the beginning, you're not going to like the series. I have always liked Hawkeye. I always thought Hawkeye was such an interesting guy. Here's a guy with nothing. Like he says in, in, uh, in one of the Avengers movies, in, in Age of Ultron, I'm just a guy with a bow, right? But he's keeping up with a god. He's keeping up with super soldiers. He's keeping up with with a guy who can fly because he has a you know the mechanical wing. He's keeping up with all these people, and he's doing better work than them. Considering that he's just a, just a guy with a bow, and I always thought he was a really cool, neat character. In the comic book, it's just like the show. Here he is trying to find some semblance of just a normal life, and he's going deaf, right? And it's like, well, what can I do? Because really. Part of his whole training is that he he has really good hearing, right? And he has really good sight. Not super like superhuman or mecha- you know, or, or enhanced or anything. He's just really good. So, uh, I mean, what exactly what's in the show is what's in the in the in the um, comic book, and I think that's cool. Yeah, but um, we we can end it right there, and I uh, trust me. So what? So what's the bet? So I'm saying it's gonna it's gonna go over six hundred million. It might get to like six fifty. That's what I'm thinking for. Uh, multiverse of Madness. 20 bucks? My man. I appreciate it.